so the, I saw this tweet and it's, it, it says something along the lines that uh, I believe in self improvement and healing, but at what point has our society made us believe that we always need fixing? What do you think about that shit? Because I could definitely tell you my first initial, like, I even, like, uh, quoted the tweet, bro, my initial thoughts about that shit. I could definitely tell you that, but I really would like to listen to what you have to say first. Bro, I feel like... I feel like somebody's... There shouldn't necessarily be no time limit on somebody's healing. Okay. Like, I feel like it should take as long as it needs to take for whoever the person is healing from whatever situation it is, you know? So it's like, it's no, you can't, I don't think you could put a term too much healing unless like, you could obviously see that it's became excessive. Like, yeah. But unless a person is really going through their emotions and like, you know, some people may take longer than others and they really, trying and you see it i don't think it, it really that's their timeline whenever they're good they're good it has and that's however much they want to start feeling better like if that's they're true. still grieving then they're still grieving you know that's why i can't i can't really say you know too much healing i guess because yeah like people people are gonna heal at their own pace yeah that's facts you know? that's facts well, uh, <clears throat> I definitely do agree with all that shit, right? But when it came to, like, that question specifically, like, my first initial reaction was, like, anything, like, excessive is definitely unhealthy, bro. And always healing and, uh, like, always healing, like, always, like, feeling the need to always heal, that shit could get very unhealthy very quick. Because, like, everything in life, bro, there has to be a balance, Right? It has to be 100% a balance, right? And it's like, since we're always evolving and being put in situations where it could create any type of trauma, young or old, when is it that we, like, accept just things for how it is rather than always trying to fix it? Because sometimes that could get very exhausting. We're trying to fix something that just can't be fixed. You feel what I'm saying? I do understand what you're saying. And that's for some people who can't. I don't think people differentiate between fixing things that they can control and then fixing things that they can't control. Yeah. You know, so if somebody's trying to fix something that they can't control, then they're going to be climbing. They're going to be trying to fill up a, a bowl with holes, you know? Yeah, basically. And that shit could get very unhealthy, not only for yourself, but probably for anything else, to be honest. People well, around you, it could be, you know, it could be anything. Facts. But you said anything healthy is like anything that is ex in excessive yeah. is unhealthy. Yep. I don't know if I agree with that though. Why? Because it depends what it's a lot of, you know? Do you think it really depends though? Nah, because it. it Cause if you drink a lot of soda, what happens to your body? I mean, if that's why I'm saying it depends. If Yeah, in that situation, if you drink a lot of soda, of course, it's going to be bad for you. You have kids. It's like when you get obsessed about something, uh -huh. obsession could sometimes turn into like. Something like really bad, like arrogance and like yeah, like coming full of yourself and shit. Yeah, like it could definitely that could definitely happen. But that's but that's <clears throat> when I mean I guess but like, like it's like if you give somebody a knife and they use it to like cook something, but they use it for something else, something violently, violently. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like you can have the tool, but it's just how how you use it. Yeah, I <laughs> you feel me? The, the the example threw me off. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like when you explain it, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you using a knife in in excessive amounts, like you bugging. I mean, I get, I guess, like I get what you're saying, but like, what? It depends the context of what you're saying it in. Like, okay, if you say like, because what if you like too much meditation? Like, can somebody meditate too much? I mean, look can at the some, monks. Can somebody, like, too much stretching, can somebody stretch too much? Yeah, I mean, I think you could actually break a limb. A limb. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could actually break some shit, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think like, if you sleep a lot, you have the possibility of dying. 
Okay. If you drink a lot of water, you could legit drown yourself, and we need water. But no, that's if you drink in too much in one time. An excessive. I, you know exactly. What? Look at <laughs> you. Just you just gotta accept it, bro. Nah, but I feel that. But it. But like. But really though. Too much meditation, like it, I, I don't know. I, I mean, look at the monks, right? Uh, th- they meditate for such a long period of time that their like repercussion is not being part of like society. But is that necessarily a bad thing? It depends on who you are. Like, if they don't want to become a part of society, that's that's on them. I mean, but they still make it a sacrifice. Though. They have to sacrifice not being part of society to be part of that journey. But I don't think that they. I don't think they really care about being a part of our society. So it's of not, course, it's I not, mean, if they make nigga, if they made a fucking like, you feel me? Like, I'm pretty sure that they that ass want to do that shit. Nah, facts, bro. Because it's like, have that, you ever like watched that shit? What, like the monks and all that shit? Yeah, I watched Avatar: The Last Airbender. That's the only shit with like monks I ever see, bro. I'm not gonna care. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, the Discovery Channel, yeah, I used to watch like Monk's Life. It, I, I just honestly do feel like it really depends. Like what like if you do something a lot, like when I guess it really depends on when does something become ex, uh, like excessive. I know? agree. Like that's really the measurement of that. Like I definitely agree with that. Because if it is it, it, like you could do something every day, but like if it starts, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. Like a routine, would you say, type show? A routine is a routine, you know, like. Yeah. But, you know, I, that's why, it, that's why I say, like, I can't really agree with something being like too, so, certain things being too much. Like, would you be like, somebody has too much money? I mean, that's actually a term, yeah. Not for everybody, though. I mean, I think like like people like Elon Musk and stuff like that. They don't have nobody says they have too much money. Yeah, but look at the stress that he has to take on. What's well, sure, bro? This nigga's trying to get us into Mars. That's him doing that. He having fun doing that. No. Yes, he is, bro. That nigga be stressed like a motherfucker. He bro. is having fun doing. Must send you a, a podcast that he had with Lexi, and he explained it, bro. He was like, "Yo, bro, like, I don't even believe in God, and I pray down to my knees when we try to do a, a SpaceX launch. That you know, it's on YouTube. Send me that. I'm gonna send you that shit, bro. Like, no cap. Like the nigga that I said that, yo, bro, I don't even believe in God, and I prayed. So, so those people could come back safely. So he, so you saying. That's not him being stressed out, though. He just want people to return safely. No, bro. He legit said that he was so stressed out. He said he couldn't sleep or nothing. When the people was up in space? Yes, bro. How long were they in space for? Oh, I'm not sure the the time date. But I think the mission was to, like, see how... So he built a a ship that um, enabled humans to go, like, a little before than the moon, I believe, or some shit like that. And he has been the longest that has ever gone... Because Russia had the best engine, but he built the best one. Say so, right, Yeah, baby. the SpaceX shit. Bro, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Elon Musk, bro, that, like, the nigga Loki is, like, taking technology to a different level. He already created AI bots, and they're saying that we could use those AI bots to create a colonization in Mars. Bro, he's trying to get us on Mars in the next, like, 50 years. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. <clears throat> We're going to be alive for that, bro, you know? No, not going to We're going to be alive for that. We are, we I'm trying to see that shit, Loki. Facts. I, I'm trying to see that shit. You will go to space. Hell yeah, bro. Hell if I have yeah. the opportunity, I would definitely go see that shit myself. Hell yeah, bro. Fuck, nigga. Niggas so I could come back and be like... Niggas gonna be on another point. <sighs> yeah, bro, like... Nah, bro. I'm gonna tell you... The, and then I'm gonna tell you the earth is fucking... That shit a dome. Like, I'm gonna but, tell you that shit a globe. Yes, bro. That shit yes, bro. But going back to the, like...